I'm Ian McClintock. I've been a trustee for nearly 30 years and a chair for 10. The passion and commitment of our trustees is a huge strength. But if your board doesn't have the right skills and composition, you won't achieve as much as you could and would wish to. This video uses a charity excellence toolkit to give you a very quick and simple five stage process to assess your board and identify opportunities for you to achieve more. An effective board will normally have between three and 12 trustees. In this example, I've inserted six. And you need the skills and experience to get the job done. And there's a huge range you can choose from. These are some examples from the toolkit. You need to identify the ones important to you and then assess the extent to which you have these as high, medium or low. In this worked example, I've put the skills down the left hand side. I've then rated how important each is. The trustees along the top. And then I've completed the matrix, depending on what skills and experience they have. And from this, you can see that fundraising is actually really important to us, but it's an area we're weak in. And board turnover. Trustees shouldn't serve for too long, but I, I don't see that as such a big issue as long as everyone is contributing and adding value. And also, you do need a good turnover of trustees. So you need to be recruiting new people who are bringing in new ideas and new ways of thinking. And in this example, everyone's been on the board for some considerable time. And diversity. We're very poor at that in many areas in the sector. It's important from a point of view of equality. And how can a board represent its community if it's not representative of its community. And in addition, diverse boards perform rather better than those that are not. So in this template, we've identified all the areas of diversity that we think are relevant at the bottom. And then above that, we've included all those that are represented on our board. And as you can see, the mix is reasonable for where we are. And networks isn't always seen as a key component, but having access and the ability to influence and reach into other areas can actually add quite powerfully to your board. So I've included in here a whole range of different networks and mapped these. And as you can see, the board is actually represented in all of those networks except the public sector. And bringing on all that together, I've rated each on the left. Numbers are fine, skills and experience, we need fundraisers. We haven't had any new trustees for some time. And for diversity in networks, perhaps we should consider a younger trustee or someone from the public sector. So the action that falls out of this is we need to recruit at least one more trustee. We do need that fundraising experience. And it would be a bonus if we could bring in someone who was younger or who had experience of working in the public sector. And that's it. You can assess every aspect of your governance online in 30 minutes and access a huge range of toolkits, including this one, plus guides and templates by registering at charityexcellence.co.uk. There's everything you need in one place and everything is free. And you can also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you'd like to be advised of future Charity Excellence videos. Thank you for the great work you do in supporting vulnerable people in our society, and I wish you every success.